we, as I mentioned in the presentation, we started designing E4 about 18 months ago. In fact, it was even longer than that uh, because the slide, uh, we used the slide from September. Uh, so it was like, you know, 20 plus months ago. Uh, at the time, 4G requirements in E4 were not entirely clear yet. And there, even our launch plans for India were not clear. I wasn't in the company. Right? I wasn't there to say, hey guys, we need to launch in India. Right? We need to pay attention to this, we need to think about it. So uh, from an RF design and antenna design perspective, that just wasn't accounted for. And this device is a very small device um, with, a very sm uh, with a very compact case, and it's a very busy device inside. If you, if you break it open, you'll see that it's incredibly dense. There's not a lot of room around <coughs> it for you to play with and do kind of more uh, you know, different antenna designs. So um, the reason why we're not launching a 4G model of E4 here is because we could not, with the industrial design that we have today, reach at the level of performance that we hold ourselves against for 4G, right? Uh, when you're doing 4G testing, you have to test it on all the bands, you have to make sure that it works when a certain band is primary, when uh, the other band is secondary, and vice versa, right? It has to work incredibly well in all cases. And not, not only that, but it has to continue to work for 3G, and for 2G as well. Um, so it just wasn't possible to achieve a design that allowed us to support 4G uh, and do it with a you know, signal coverage and uh, signal strength and so on and so forth that we wanted here. Most people, most everybody else would have given you some kind of BS answer. That's the true answer, right? Like we just couldn't design it. Right? Like, so, so couldn't. We can't, we can't expect the LTE version no, of me. Not any. Because we can't, we would have to literally design the device again. Um.